What is going on everyone and welcome back. Today we're a little bit late to the party, but we're going to be hopping into a Scarlet and Violet base set Elite Trainer Box. Let's get into it. You've got the player's guide of course with all the information about the set and your set list. And we have our box here. Alright. Here we go, you've got your dice, your deck dividers, your energy cards, all that good stuff. Your sleeves, most importantly. Your code card. Ooh, I really like these deck dividers. The gold with uh, Coridon on it, that looks really cool actually. You've got your sleeves of course, I'm not going to be using these because I prefer just plain clear penny sleeves, but pretty cool still. We've got our Coridon promo card, which looks so good. Oh, I love this guy. He's just sleeping on a rock, which is so accurate for what a lizard would be doing. Just sunbathing on a rock. It is a little bent, a little bit of a curvature to it, but that's okay. We can we can put him in a in a sleeve and in a top loader and or like a card saver and hopefully uh, straighten him out a little bit. You know what? I'm gonna I don't know why I was gonna keep him in the plastic. I'm gonna take him out of this plastic so we can reveal him in all his glory. There we go. That's more like it. The hollow probably looks a lot better without that plastic on it. Uh, but now let's put it back in plastic. <laughs> the duality of man, taking it out of plastic to put it back into plastic. But this is better plastic, so that's what I'm gonna do. And then how many do we have here? Is it eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? That's gotta be wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why are, why is it nine? That's such an odd number. Well, I mean, it literally is an odd number, but two, four, six, eight, nine? Did I get gypped on a pack? Hold on, how many are these supposed to come with? Turns out they're supposed to come with nine. Who would have thought? Not me, apparently. All right, pack number one. I think this is going to be the largest opening I've done since coming back to YouTube, which is pretty sweet. All the rest of our videos have been like, I think maybe six packs has been the most we've done. We're gonna go one to the front. We've got a dark energy. So this will be exciting because it's gonna be a little bit longer of a video and more hits. So we've got a Saviper, Houndour, Satotl, Tatsugiri, Jacques, Florigato, Judge, Reverse Hollow Squabbit, and a Hollow Cloth. I really don't know what I'm looking for out of this set if I'm being completely honest. I haven't opened a ton of base set Scarlet and Violet, which I feel like I say about like pretty much every set we open up. And that's true because I <laughs> I was out of the game for so long, but we're get, we're catching up. We had to do a little bit of a throwback this, this episode or this video because I haven't opened a ton of these sets. That's a Tomokazu Komiya. I believe I have this card already, but we will Set it aside for safekeeping just in case. Mareep, silly little cobra. We've got Bisharp, Toxtricity, Mousehold, Crocolore, Reverse Energy Retrieval, Reverse Pokemon Catcher, and a Coridon EX. Isn't that fitting? That's just magical, isn't it? We've got two Coridons hanging out next to each other now. A nice little EX hit. All right, if the framing on that just changed a little bit, my apologies. I had to adjust the lighting and the centering of my camera, but I think we're looking a lot better now. Let's get into our third pack. Now, what's cool about this Elite Trainer Box is I actually got it for a sweet deal. Best Buy had these on clearance for $25.99. So I bought a few of them and I figured that was like, probably the best pricing I've ever seen on an ETB. So I got four of them for like a hundred bucks, which is crazy. We've got an energy switch, Varoom. I don't think they're clearanced anymore, but you should definitely keep an eye out on Best Buy and like a bunch of site websites to see when they're doing deals. That's been my favorite way to buy Pokemon cards at the moment. We've got a hollow professor's research. Cause I realized when I was previously doing TCG openings, the biggest barrier to entry, which I'm sure everyone's is, <laughs> is money. Cause holy cow, this can get so expensive. So if you shop deals and like limit yourself to, I feel like I'm just 
giving people basic financial advice, but just catering it to Pokemon TCG. But genuinely, I've had a much better experience this time around uh, by just shopping deals and not necessarily worrying about like FOMO and stuff like that, but just waiting for deals to come and pulling the trigger on stuff when it's at a good price. Mastiff, Spupa, Crocolore, Flor, Flor, I almost said Florigato, Florgis, Muck, Reverse Crocolore, there he is, Reverse Torrentula, and a Hollow Klefki. We are getting our booties kicked in this ETB, but that's okay because we've got half our packs left. All right, what is this, pack number five, I think? The card of code, one to the front, and we have a Dark Energy. I feel like we've been getting a lot of Dark Energies lately. Go Goat, Scatterbug, Shuppet, Sprigatito, Beach Court, Sanaconda, Katie, Reverse Charcadet, Reverse Primeape, and another Hollow Professor's Research. Turo, get away! I need, I need some serotonin, Turo. You're great, you're pretty, you're beautiful, but you're not what I'm looking for. I'm so sorry. Now, I am doing this opening directly after I opened the 151 Booster Bundle and pulled the Charizard EX. So obviously I'm riding that high. So <laughs> hopefully I'm not too uh, too disappointed in this ETB by comparison, but you know what? We're still having fun nonetheless. We've got a fighting energy, Mastiff, Ponyard. I think we need to slow down and just appreciate some of this art real quick. I'm going a little crazy mode. We've got a Toad School, Ultra Ball, Espathra, and by appreciate some of the art, I mean still go quickly through all the ones that I'm not captivated by. We've got Flabebe Reverse, Satalo Reverse, ooh, and a Gyarados EX. Is he Terrod? Little Terrados? Oh, look at that guy. Look at his eye. Shimmering? Not, oh yeah, there it is. There it is. Nice. Love me a good, uh, good old Gyarados. There we go. There's another hit. I don't know what the chase card in this set is. I feel like the chase has got to be some like Coridon, Maridon, alt arts and stuff like that. Just because they're it's a base set of the new gen. So I feel like the legendaries have to be the center of attention for this set. We've got another code card. We've got another one to the front. We've got another fire energy. Although I think that's the first one we picked up. Houndour, Drifloon, Satoddle. Is he about to eat that snow? I think so. Varum. Ooh, I love Staraptor. Heck yeah. We've got Electric Generator. Wugtrio. Capsicid. Reverse Houndoom. And a Hollow Skeledurge. I do, okay. I picked Sprigatito, and I, I do love Sprigatito in that line, but holy cow, Skeledurge is easily the coolest end evolution of all three of those. Quaquavel. Kind of weak in my opinion. Meowskarata is is okay. I do like Meowskarata, but my goodness, Skeledurge is great. And it's shiny is so good. But let me know in the comments if you completely disagree with me. We have our second to last pack. And dare I say, we haven't really gotten many hits. <laughs> I don't think that many would disagree with me on that statement. The best hit we've pulled right now has been the promo card. So let's see if we can change that. Electric Energy. We have Sandial. You always love seeing a Tomokazu. We've got a Houndoom. Fido. Scatterbug. Cacturn. Wait, what is, I guess he's using Energy Ball? I was like, he looks like he's casting a, a crazy spell right now. Mezagoza. Driftblim. Reverse Riolu. <gasps> a Gold Nest Ball. Ask and you shall receive, and then a hollow Dondozo. Get over there, Dondozo. Look at this. I love gold cards. I feel like I haven't pulled a gold card in a long time. Is this the first gold card I've pulled since starting opening TCG again? It might be. And something's telling me that Nest Ball is pretty competitively viable. Search your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. That seems like it could be some good utility. We will set you right down here. And we have one final pack. Can we get back-to-back -back hits at the end of this ETB? Did someone say last pack magic? If not, I just did. We have one to the front. 
and our last pack starts with a water energy. Magikarp, Magnemite, Torrentula, Pokemon Catcher, Judge, I'm struggling to grab these cards, a little Floatzel, Team Star Grunt, Reverse Squawkabilly, <gasps> a Dolive Alt Art, or Character Art. I can't remember what you guys are called, but you're cute. Look at you, just picking olives. Is that, hmm, I don't know how I feel about that. You are an olive, and you're ripping olives, presumably about to rip an olive from a tree. Or maybe you're just giving them like a little caress, like a little high five. What's behind? A hollow indeedy. Nice, we did in fact get the back-to-back -back hits. That's awesome. And I do love any card that has like a very heavily nature vibe. I absolutely adore, which kind of makes sense why I like the Coridon as well, because that was just a big, a big lizard boy hanging out in the wilderness. But this card is also just making me real happy inside. Well, I am definitely happy with how that ETB ended. It didn't start off very fast, but my goodness, did it give us a bang at the end. We got that gold nest ball, we have the Dolliv, and then of course our two EXs, our Coridon and our Gyarados, and you can't forget the promo card. Honestly, my favorite card we pulled today, which isn't even a pull, but it's still so sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you made it this far, consider subscribing and hitting that like button. I'd really appreciate that. But most importantly, have a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Peace.